module describes the capabilities of Juniper Sky Enterprise. The module also explains how to use Juniper Sky Enterprise to discover and manage SRX series devices. At the end of this module, you will be able to describe the capabilities of Juniper Sky Enterprise. Use Juniper Sky Enterprise to discover and manage SRX series devices. Network complexity is growing exponentially. As a result, management operational costs are also on the rise, placing a tremendous burden on a company's bottom line. Abstracting, simplifying, and hiding this complexity is the first step towards realizing Juniper's bold vision of autonomous networking. Juniper Sky Enterprise Cloud Management Service provides centralized visibility into and control over the entire enterprise network through a simple secure web portal for managing security and switching devices. Juniper Sky Enterprise is a subscription-based cloud management service designed to abstract, simplify, and hide network complexity from branch and campus customers. Distributed enterprises have traditionally run management software on their own IT infrastructure, a process that required long planning cycles, careful pre-staging of devices, on-site IT staff at branch locations during deployment, and ongoing management, all of which contributed to prohibitively high installation and maintenance costs. With Juniper Sky Enterprise, customers no longer need to purchase, install, and maintain servers and management software in their own environment, enabling enterprises to scale capacity up or down based on existing business demands. Juniper Sky Enterprise, which is updated regularly with the latest secure software and features, enables the network to be managed centrally with minimal input from IT enabling staff to focus on core business activities and ultimately realize significant CapEx and OpEx savings. Juniper Sky Enterprise greatly simplifies network operations by automating time-consuming tasks such as pre-staging or applying configurations. New managed devices are automatically and securely onboarded and constantly monitored to ensure the network is operating at the highest possible performance levels. Juniper Sky Enterprise can coexist and operate in parallel with other management systems. Experienced IT staff can also customize Juniper Sky Enterprise to configure advanced Juno's operating system features. Juniper Sky Enterprise provides access to Juniper's secure cloud management portal for Juniper Network's SRX series, EX series, and NFX series platforms and includes 24 7 global support. Juniper Sky Enterprise offers a number of valuable benefits, including simple centralized management, reducing reliance on skilled on-site resources. Network moves, additions, changes, and deletions are dramatically simplified and accelerated. Remote administration and zero-touch provisioning, or ZTP, eliminates the need for expensive truck rolls. A centralized knowledge base that includes all network devices. Operational costs are reduced and customer service is improved. High-performance Juniper devices are easily deployed without complexity. Quick setup requires no Juno's OS skills. Global networks can be managed from anywhere using just a browser. And CLI access and use is fully supported. Juniper Sky Enterprise provides visibility of all managed network devices using a web-based interface. Users can view security policies and zones through a clean interface. Network Address Translation, or NAT Source and Destination Policy rule sets can be made in one simple action. IPsec tunnels can be created and managed. Software upgrades, configuration deployment, and advanced device monitoring and reporting capabilities can be performed. Juniper Sky Enterprise can create, view, and modify traditional and application layer security policies. Security policy templates enable security policy rules to be created once and deployed to multiple devices in your organization to enforce company-wide security requirements. Juniper Sky Enterprise provides a simple interface for configuring and managing switches, VLANs, and routes, as well as for monitoring switch resources and capacity. 
Juniper Sky Enterprise also provides full access to power over Ethernet, or PoE switch settings, including enabling and disabling PoE on individual ports, configuring PoE priority, and monitoring PoE-connected devices. It also recognizes and displays EX series switches deployed in a virtual chassis configuration, which enables interconnected platforms to operate as a single logical device. Juniper Sky Enterprise enables the centralized distribution and deployment of the Juno's OS software, enabling devices to be upgraded simultaneously with minimal effort. A detailed upgrade report is provided when a deployment event is complete. ZTP enables you to provision and configure devices automatically, minimizing most of the manual intervention required for adding devices to a network. ZTP is responsible for the initial boot up and configuration of the device when the device is powered on. This feature ensures that the person installing the device on site at the branch does not have to log into the device to make any configuration changes or software upgrades. Supported devices are shipped with a factory default configuration. The factory default configuration includes the URL of a redirect server that is used to connect to Sky Enterprise using a secure encrypted connection. New devices automatically connect to Juniper Sky Enterprise over the Internet and download a configuration when the device boots up. The initial configuration is applied and committed on the device. You can add Juno software images to the Juniper Sky Enterprise software library. This allows you to upgrade images easily on one or many Juniper Networks devices using the Juniper Sky Enterprise software distribution feature. Note that to perform ZTP on a device, the device must run a version of the Juno's OS that supports this feature. Currently, ZTP is supported on SRX series devices shipping with the Juno's OS release 15.1 x49D 110 and later and on EX series devices shipping with the Juno's OS release 18.2 R1 and later. Juniper Sky Enterprise includes detailed reporting capabilities for the advanced SRX series services gateways functions like AppSecure, Unified Threat Management or UTM1, and Juniper Sky Advanced Threat Prevention or Sky ATP. To help users get the most value from these advanced features, Juniper Sky Enterprise provides detailed insights into the threats and risks that the SRX series devices have detected and mitigated. Juniper Sky Enterprise's Application and Network Risk, or ANR, reports are presented in a clear, colorful, and simple format using charts and tables. These reports make it easy for administrators to understand the business risks present in their network and demonstrate the value that the SRX series gateway delivers to critical business infrastructure. Juniper Sky Enterprise offers real-time visibility into key metrics for Juniper devices, highlighting performance trends and potential issues on the network. Juniper Sky Enterprise supports these monitoring and reporting features and functionality. POE monitoring, live packet capture to perform deep dive traffic flow inspections, license tracking, system alarms and SMTP device availability alerting, site location visualization, Ethernet switch tables, link layer discovery protocol or LLDP neighbor tables, and address resolution protocol or ARP tables, and device performance trends. Sites are used to organize your company's devices in a manner that makes sense for your organization. Addressing information provided during site creation is used to display site locations on a map in the Sites pane of the Juniper Sky Enterprise interface. Click the Devices tab to start the manual device provisioning process. Then click Add Devices to open the Add Device interface. Specify a display name for the device and select the device type. Selecting the Show Optional Fields checkbox displays additional device provisioning options, such as tags that can be used to further sort and organize devices in site selection.
During the Add Device process, an administrator account is created on the device. The account is used by Juniper Sky Enterprise to deploy configuration and gather device performance and status information. You can specify an administrator username and password or enable Juniper Sky Enterprise to automatically generate the credentials. Click Create Device to continue. The process of adding a new device generates a configlet that is manually loaded and committed on the device that you are adding to the network. The configlet is not a complete production device configuration file. The configlet is just enough to enable the device to connect to Juniper Sky Enterprise. Once the device is connected, a more complete configuration can be deployed using the Juniper Sky Enterprise application. The configlet can be downloaded or simply copied and pasted into the device's existing configuration. Once the configlet is loaded on the remote device, the device establishes connectivity with the Juniper Sky Enterprise application. If the connection is successful, the device displays as online. The device can now be administered using the Juniper Sky Enterprise interface. ZTP provides fast, simple deployment of cloud-managed devices. This simple device deployment, replacement, and renewal process helps you avoid costly truck rolls. Administrators add device serial numbers to pre-staged device objects. Devices using a factory default configuration automatically contact Juniper Sky Enterprise. Connecting devices with matching serial numbers are approved and can have software images and the complete device configuration automatically deployed and provisioned. As a Juniper Sky Enterprise Administrator, you can create and manage administrative user accounts. The Juniper Sky Enterprise system provides predefined roles that you assign to the administrative users. The roles define administrator responsibilities and specify the management tasks that a user can perform in the system. Enter the user's email address and select the appropriate role for the new user. After creating the account, the user will receive an email from Juniper Sky Enterprise that contains a link. The user can use this link to activate their account. The activation link is valid for 48 hours. When users click on the link, they will be prompted to create a password for the account. Sky Enterprise supports two-factor authentication by selected vendors, such as Google Authenticator, Duo, and Okta. To be valid, the password must be 12 or more characters long and a combination of at least three of these, uppercase characters, lowercase characters, numbers, and non-alphanumeric characters. Also, the password must not contain leading spaces, dictionary words, names, or personal information. The Device Action menu available in the Devices tab provides configuration, maintenance, and monitoring options. The options vary depending on the type of device under management. Juniper Sky Enterprise can be used to create new VLANs or edit or delete existing ones. Juniper Sky Enterprise enables an administrator to view the status of device interfaces and configure both physical and logical interface properties. Juniper Sky Enterprise supports the configuration of standard and application layer security policies. Security policy templates enable you to create security policy rules that can be deployed across a range of devices, helping your organization enforce company-wide security requirements in a consistent fashion. Security policy rules can be viewed, created, modified, deleted, and reordered. Next-generation firewalls are capable of analyzing application layer data in traffic. Applications are identified and traffic can be permitted or denied on an application-on-application -application basis. Juniper Sky Enterprise provides complete support for SRX Series application ID-based security policy rule sets and rule configuration. One of the benefits of using Juniper Sky Enterprise is its ability to deploy configuration to multiple devices using a simple-to-use interface. Configuration can be defined once and deployed to a range of devices.
Common configuration options, such as name servers, SNMP settings, and logging options can be defined and scheduled for deployment. Regular Junos CLI configuration statements or template-based configuration options are available to create a configuration and deploy it to your devices. Results of a configuration deployment operation are displayed in the Bulk Update Report dialog box. The deployed configuration settings and a log showing the execution of the configuration statements and the commit process for each selected device are displayed. The system and monitoring options enable you to perform several operational functions on managed devices. It enables you to view device configuration, create or delete rescue configuration, and perform reboot or shutdown operations. During the device provisioning process, configuration is set that enables Juniper Sky Enterprise to gather interface-related statistical data. System and monitoring interface graphs display inbound and outbound interface statistics in an easy-to-interpret graphical format. ANR reports display UTM and general security-related information gathered from SRX series devices. Top Talker, Intrusion Detection and Prevention, or IDP, web filtering, Sky ATP feeds, antivirus, and anti-malware data is collected, generated, and displayed. Standard and custom reports can be generated on demand. The Commits tab displays information about commit operations performed on a device, information about the user who performed the commit operation, and the date and time the operation was performed are displayed. A log message helps administrators interpret what configuration changes were performed on the device. The Config Backups tab displays backup configuration files stored on a managed device. The files can be downloaded and compared to other configuration files to help troubleshoot configuration discrepancies. Juniper Sky Enterprise includes support for device license management. The Licenses tab shows licenses currently installed on a device and when the license will expire. The interface can be used to update expiring licenses and request trial licenses to enable new features. Part of your job is to maintain device availability. Juniper Sky Enterprise gathers device alarms and displays them on Sites and Alarms tabs on the home page. Juniper Sky Enterprise can configure managed devices to perform packet captures. Once the packet capture is created, the packet capture results can be viewed on the Juniper Sky Enterprise interface or downloaded for offline analysis. Juno's platforms can be configured to generate detailed telemetry data that is pushed to a real-time performance monitoring or RPM server. This push model of streaming device performance telemetry data is more efficient than the traditional pull model used by other platforms and protocols. At some point, you will need to perform an update to the version of the Juno software running on your managed devices. A new version of software may contain a fix for an issue you are experiencing or provide new features and functionality that you wish to implement. The Juniper Sky Enterprise Configuration Software Library tab enables you to define the location of a Juno software image that can be deployed to an individual device or to a range of devices simultaneously. After you have defined the software library properties, the Software Distribution tab is used to configure the actual software deployment. A software distribution job is created, enabling you to specify the software image to be distributed, when the deployment should be performed, and which devices will perform the software upgrade. You have reached the end of this module. In this module, you learned to describe the capabilities of Juniper Sky Enterprise, use Juniper Sky Enterprise to discover and manage SRX series devices.